So where did the World Teacher Father start actually? It started with a significant defining moment in a refugee camp called Narangusu, a refugee camp that you get at the western side of Tanzania. I was doing leadership training there in 2002 and after the training I had about one hour to spend and I asked them to bring some of the leaders from the camp so that I could ask them why would they be in a refugee camp. The first guy came in, an old esteemed leader of his little village that he had, and, and he told me how he was the leader of the village, and then suddenly the rebel forces came in, 18, 19 year old boys. They came in with machine guns and machetes, and they rounded them up, they made them stand in a long line. He was standing on this one side of the line, and there was a six year old boy on the other side of the line, and then they took the six year old boy, they took a machete, they chopped off his hand, then by the elbow, and then what they call short sleeve. And as the guy is telling the story, I'm completely shocked. Sat back in the chair and said, what? Is this possible? Yes. And then they took the other hand and, and, and did the same with that. And then the legs and then the body. And they literally slaughtered this young boy in front of his eyes. So as I was still shocked, the guy bent forward and he looked into my soul. And he said, if that was an unnamed boy, it would have been fine. But that boy was my own grandson. I wish I could explain what happened within me. I was ripped apart inside. How could this happen? How is this possible at all? I was so shocked that I sent him out of the room and, and they sent me another guy and I was hoping for a better story. And the next story followed the same lines. They made us stand in a long line and they killed people from the one side and there was a pregnant lady. They took the machete. They cut open her stomach. They chopped the baby up. They killed that girl and she was my daughter, sir. They killed 24 of the people. There were about 34 of them left. And he said, I started to run. They opened up the machine guns and he said, sir, I, I don't know how the bullets did not hit me, but, but I got away. And that's why I am in the refugee camp. Why would that happen? Who did this? No, sir, these people were actually church members three months before. What? Church members three months before? How could that ever happen? Satan came to earth, sir, they said. One after the other, Satan came to earth, sir. And immediately I realized, if young boys grow up with a vacuum inside, anything can fill that vacuum, which is what happened with them. Satan came to earth, sir. I cried out to God. I said, God, you got to tell me what's wrong with Africa. Because at that stage, I was a, a, a trainer of leaders from different countries in Africa. What is wrong with Africa? If you want to train leaders, you want to train them for a specific thing. You got to understand the context. And God said by the still voice of his Holy Spirit, look up, look left, which I did. And as I looked left, there was a little window there. And outside the window, about 300 boys with every 30th boy with a soccer, a made from plastic bags, soccer ball under his arm. And the message was clear. God said, look at these boys. They are fatherless. The problem of Africa is not poverty. The main problem of Africa is not HIV AIDS. The main problem of Africa is fatherlessness. Go and create fathers for these boys by training the soccer coaches to become the fathers of these boys. This is where it all happened. I complained. I said, God, I'm the wrong guy. I'm getting older. Send a young person to do this. I'm white and, and black boys play soccer in South Africa. I'm, I'm the wrong guy. I'm in the wrong church. Our church is not concerned about soccer ministry. And then the next moment, God grabbed me by my chest and I could feel the punches of him against my chest saying, do you want to change the world on your agenda? Or do you want to change the world on my agenda? And then I realized. The main point on God's agenda for changing, changing this world is fatherlessness. We have to address fatherlessness. We've got to bring back fathers to the children and children to the fathers so that God would not curse the land, but bless the land. That is where it all started. That day I realized the world needs a father. And we see it in all places. Children need a father. Leaders need a father. Civil society, they need a father. Everyone needs a father. 
the world needs a father. And you and me, we could be part of the solution. And I hope that you become part of the solution. Thank you.